That means since I've taken office, we've created 13.9 million new jobs. You heard me say it before, I'm going to keep saying it. My dad had an expression. He said, Joey, a job's about a lot more than a paycheck. It's about your dignity. It's about respect. It's about being able to look your kid in the eye and say, honey, it's going to be okay and mean it. Well, 336,000 more Americans, if they have children, can say that to their children and mean it. And the unemployment rate has stayed below 4% for 20 months in a row, the longest stretch in 50 years. We've achieved a 70-year low in unemployment rate for women, record lows in unemployment for African Americans and Hispanic workers, and people with disabilities. Folks who have been left behind in previous recoveries and left behind for too long. We have the highest share of working age Americans in the workforce in 20 years. And it's no accident. It's Bidenomics. We're growing the economy from the middle out, the bottom up, not the top down. And inflation is coming down at the same time. It's down 60% since last summer. Core inflation was just 2.2% over the past three months. And now we have the lowest inflation of any major economy in the world. Today, we're celebrating National Manufacturing Day. We didn't name it that. It was already National Manufacturing Day, but it seems appropriate. I can think of no better way to mark the occasion than to thank the 13 million Americans who are in manufacturing jobs as we speak. They're restoring our pride, making things in America. And today, I want to highlight that of those 13 million manufacturing jobs, 815,000 of those jobs were created since I took office, twice as many as the previous administration. And report we learned early this week that spending on construction for new factories being built to generate more economic growth and jobs hit an all-time high last month. Folks, Bidenomics is about investing in America and investing in American workers. And businesses are investing more in manufacturing than ever before and are bringing the supply chains home. Before the pandemic, supply chains was a phrase most people didn't even associate with, didn't think much about. And, uh, but today, after a few uh, delays in availability of parts and products everyone has known about, they know why it's so important. My economic plan is bringing supply chains home and investing in industries of the future so we can make things in America again with American workers. We're creating good jobs in communities all across the country, including in places that have been left behind for the last, in some cases, 20 years. Because the factories they used to work at for years and years shut down, leaving them with no options, no jobs in that community, all over the Midwest and all over the Northeast. That under Bidenomics, you won't have to leave home now to get a good job. I don't know how many times I heard and out on the road people saying, my kid came up to me, got a decent education in the state, came up to me and said, Mom, I got to leave. No jobs. No jobs. Well, you're going to be able to find a good job close to home more and more all across America. We're also making sure the jobs we're creating offer workers a free and fair right, if they choose, to join a union, to form a union. Bidenomics is leading the surge in unionized workers, exercising their collective bargaining rights. For example, our, our clean school bus program under the bipartisan infrastructure law is replacing dirty diesel buses with clean electric buses so children getting on and off those buses can bring clean air, not diesel fuel. We're encouraging the companies building those buses to allow their employees to unionize if the employees choose. And it's working. We saw in Georgia when at Blue, workers at Bluebird, the electric school bus manufacturing company that's receiving federal funds, voted to unionize because that was their choice. The Treasury Department laid out recently in a major report that unions and collective bargaining are good for the economy overall. They help raise wages not only for the workers in that factory, but for everyone, whether or not they're a union, whether or not you belong to a union. And they also increase, uh, 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 excuse me, they also increase corporate uh, growth. And today's job report is just another example of what it looks like when we focus on building an economy from the middle out and the bottom up, not the top down, while bringing deficits down at the same time. You know, just this summer, I signed uh, 
strong bipartisan law where I shook hands with the former speaker. And uh, we passed in the House and the Senate as well to cut spending by $1 trillion over the next 10 years. Unfortunately, last weekend, Republican House members decided they were going to put that progress in jeopardy. Instead of honoring that commitment they made, they once again brought us to the brink of a government shutdown, creating unnecessary instability and risk in order to secure more extreme cuts in programs that help working Americans and seniors.